Let's not so much. So this video will just be about how I made this thing and how it works and that will be about it. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it and... Wait, did I turn it off? Here's how all of this works. If you're not into that, then where to skip to is shown on the screen. Now, yes, there's somewhere. I don't know why I'm editing this after recording, so yeah. So here's the full thing disassembled. We have an Arduino board, an arc lighter to ignite the gas, a relay to trigger the arc lighter, a servo that is what's opening the butane tank's valve thingy, a butane tank, and a sound sensor that detects sound, i.e. the thing sound. The main component here is Arduino board, that's the brain. That's the thing that'll read our code and do what we tell it to do in physical form. Arduino boards run on a machine code compiled from the C or C++ programming language. What the Arduino board does is it's constantly looking for a sound that is above a certain loudness through the sound sensor. When it detects a sound above the threshold that we ourselves set, the code on the, on the Arduino sends a signal to the servo motor to rotate a certain amount that then pushes the lever through this me me mechanism that that I have. That I have. Listen, I made this whole part while I was panicking, okay? As long as you can push the lever right here with the Arduino board, then you're fine. And when that lever is pushed, gas flows through here. Yes, that is a bent piece of curtain rail holder that I've modified to my designs. But wait, how does it stick to your hand? Well, it works like this. You have this thing, this thing. This is the whole thing that's on your arm without everything on. Uh, the only thing left is the Arduino board and it works like this. So I'm operating this with one hand. This is a U shape and your hand is kind of like a semi-sphere. So you can just plop this, plop, let me just, There we go, like that, and it sticks because it clamps onto your hand or to your wrist, and yeah, it's quite solid. So yeah, that's that's how it works. After that, the Arduino sends a signal to the relay that is just an electric switch to close the circuit connected to the arc lighter, causing an arc to form on the prongs at the end of these wires. The circuit connected to the relay is just two wires soldered to the button that used to exist on this arc lighter port that I removed. So then when a spark is formed on this spark gap, it'll ignite the butane gas flowing out of this tube right here and cause it to light up. Yes, I have converted a safe, non-toxic, reusable electric lighter into a glorified big lighter. Oh, and these wires is just what the signals and power and grounding go through. We got power lines here, grounding with a wire here, and the signal wire here. 